Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R programming and data visualization with ggplot2. In this session, we are going to learn how to set our own theme, how to convert our plot specification to a theme function. This is the plot which I prepared in my previous session and this plot is according to APA style 7. And in this plot, the customization has been done to the background of the plot, to the uh, legend position, then to the titles and uh, this uh, caption, x-axis and all those. And these customizations are there in this code. Okay, theme classic I used as the base theme and these are the specifications of the theme elements. Okay. Now we'll look at the code. The library ggplot2 is required as ggplot function comes from that. Then I want to use the data set tooth growth for that purpose and this is the structure of the tooth growth. Length is a numeric variable, supplement is a factor variable and dose it was a numeric variable but I converted that to factor variable using this code. Okay. Now this ggplot function I called the data tooth growth is the first uh, argument to that then aesthetic x-axis will be dose y-axis will be length and fill will be controlled by the supplements then geom bar is there using stat summary summary will be mean mean will be plotted here okay this height of the bar is according to means then position is dodge so that we got the group bar plot and uh, for each dose Two bars are there. One is for orange juice, other is for vitamin C supplement. Then uh, color of these bars have been uh, set as a uh, gray one, gray 60. Error bars are plotted using stat summary, geom error bar. Function is mean AC, means standard errors are plotted as error bars. Position will be again position dodge. Uh, so that those error bars will correspond to the, their uh, specific risk co corresponding bars and uh, to make those error bars at the same position on the bars I have adjusted the width same as the width I used in the geom bar uh, uh, geom then scale y continuous just to force the plot at zero then uh, this scale fill manual just to uh, modify the default color scheme of ggplot2 then these labels are there okay these labels for this uh, title the subtitle uh, axis titles and this caption and from this point below we have the theme elements okay. i will just cut these theme elements copy okay. now bring that here I will just take that above this ggplot2 and put the name APA theme and now this code we are going to convert as a predefined theme and for that I will give name to the theme theme underscore APA then that assignment symbol we have to define a function function the arguments will not have any arguments here then this curly bracket is there please remember that I have copied the code from the base theme and then this uh, specific theme elements also I added there I will just put the curly bracket and I will ensure whether my brackets are copied properly or not legend position the last bracket is required for completion of the brackets you can see this bracket is getting highlighted means my function is correct I will run this line now we'll see the plot without the theme elements and it is saying that an expected comma is there this theme layer I added I will have to remove the bracket I think it got removed we will run that again and this is the plot without any uh, APA like specifications which I want it to be 
Now I will convert that using the theme layer. Just like using predefined theme, we can use our own theme also. You can see that that theme function got there in the global environment also okay. with the name theme APA. Now here I will put that name theme APA. You can see here that this theme is there and it is coming from global environment. Go for that, run that and you can see that this plot got customized as per our requirement and we use that theme APA there. Now we'll use this theme APA for another plot that ggplot again tooth growth I am going to use aesthetic uh, that will be dose I want uh, to see the distribution of those lengths length will be there fill will be supplement and then I'm going to use geome uh, box plot for that to see the distribution of the data. I will not specify other things. I will just uh, will see the theme for that. And it is saying that object dose not found. This shall not be capital. We'll run that. Okay. Now boxes are there. Okay. And with the default gray theme. We'll just add that theme APA. We'll run that as per the theme APA. If we add labels and all that, this this time I will add this label only for demonstration purpose. We'll add that here, and we'll run that. All those labels will get get added, and those will get uh, customized as per the. Uh, theme specifications, theme APA specifications. We'll go for another plot. This time I will use ggplot iris and uh, AES. I want to have the density plot for say per length and the fill will come from a species of iris and geome will be a density Mm -hmm. and plus I will add no we'll see how it looks like yeah this is there I will just play with transparency alpha is equal to 0 0.3 and then I will add to the theme APA this is the plot and its appearance will change when I use the theme APA you can see that the plot got changed and you can see here that legend is overlapping now and this is because we have specified the legend position in the uh, plot. So don't do that. I advise you not to specify theme, uh, legend position in the theme. Uh, I will add to this plus theme legend position here also I will put that team legend position remove that and here I have to specify the theme and complete the bracket now we will run this plot theme is there at the required position no overlap is there for the box plot but overlap is there for the density plot Okay. We'll remove that, we'll uh, move that a little towards the uh, right side and for that I will make that x is equal to 0 0.7 so that it will come here near that 0 0.7 proportion of or 70% proportion of the x axis somewhat near here. I will run that. Now it's a good plot. This is how we can define our own themes. We can prepare our own themes. Our themes can be different for different articles which we submit, different type of articles or uh, those themes can be as per our requirement uh, uh, to be to get published in specific journal or uh, specific book. Okay. Practice data visualization and if you have liked this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you are not, subscri not subscribed yet and Share this video with your friends. Thanks. Thanks for watching.